Here, the Steve Jobs vision of AI. The thing that, that probably kept me out of jail was books, because I could go read what Aristotle wrote or what Plato wrote, uh, and uh, I didn't have to have an intermediary in the way. And a book was a phenomenal thing. It got right from the source to the destination without anything in the middle. The problem was you can't ask Aristotle a question. And I think as we look towards the next 50 to 100 years, if we really can come up with these machines that can capture an underlying spirit or an underlying set of principles or an underlying way of looking at the world, then when the next Aristotle comes around, maybe if he carries around one of these machines with him his whole life, his or her whole life, and types in all this stuff, then maybe someday after the person's dead and gone, we can ask this machine, hey, what, what would Aristotle have said? What about this? And maybe we won't get the right answer, but maybe we will. And that's really exciting to me. It's really impressive how Steve Jobs, back in 1983, was able to predict future of AI so accurately. What's interesting, he mostly talk about experiences and education. But the main question is how? How did he come to this? I think some of the past performances of greatest minds in history, like Steve Jobs, can really help us discover winning ways of using AI today.